Welcome everybody, my name is Michael or Kubera and today we're going into Ripple. Now, I will always have a place in my heart for Ripple due to the fact that it was one of the first cryptocurrencies outside of the main cryptos, LTC, BTC, ETH. Well, XRP came out of the blue. A lot of buddies started recommending Ripple back in 2017 and I made some money with Ripple. So despite the controversies, I generally have a positive opinion of Ripple. However, there are some problems. Today, we're gonna to be discussing about individual investors moving away from Bitcoin and Ethereum and why that is happening. This doesn't mean that Bitcoin is worse than Ripple. I'm not going to get into that debate. I have a special place in my heart for Bitcoin as well, as I think most of us do, thanks to it introducing us to cryptocurrency. So whichever side you lay on, or maybe you don't really care about this whether ripple beats btc or btc is better than ethereum or ripple's a scam or whatever i i don't care for that keep the comments down below respectful and hopefully you enjoy the video so let's roll the intro welcome everybody so before we get into ripple quick Thing. I'm going to leave this link down in the description below. Save 40% on your Bitcoin transaction fees by keeping your BTC on a BECH32 address. So this one, this transaction saved 41% on fees. This one could have saved 42% on fees. So if you want to learn how to do that, check out that link. And now why XRP attracts BTC and ETH network investors? A recent study has found that traders within the crypto space swap their BTC and Ethereum for XRP for their exchange balance transfers. A data scientist from XSpring highlighted in a blog post that the recent financial instability has put cryptocurrency networks to the test. As we see trading volumes increase, the buildup on the network's congestion does the same. Now, a lot of people who eventually grew tired of Bitcoin were complaining about the network congestion. And I do have to admit, it has been a problem. There have been fixes for it, but it's still not perfect. As a result of this, it can be hard to move Ethereum and Bitcoin in and out of different platforms, especially when there's a lot of trading going on. This means that many investors have moved to Ripple's XRP token for the simple ease. As trading activity increases, the congestion on the networks increases and can reach really high levels of transaction fees. So many investors can turn to Ripple as a rebalancing alternating asset. The market is currently going through a weird phase as the whole world experiences different reactions to the impact of the pandemic to the world economy. The XRP fees are remaining relatively stable. It's possible that traders do not hold enough XRP for rebalancing or liquidation, leading to converting their Ethereum into XRP to use as a bridge currency. This trend may remind you of a similar action happening in 2017. Now, if we go to Bank XRP's Twitter account, we have a crazy tweet here, and this has happened many, many times over. Another few hundred million big transactions today. So amount 100 million XRP, a fee, 1 million drops, 1 XRP. The sender is through BitThumb and the sender's balance is 134.4 million. So that is a huge whale. And a lot of really large whales were able to transfer Ripple. And this is huge. The transaction fees are really low. It confirms faster than Bitcoin. It sends faster. There's less congestion. And it's one of the fastest ways currently, if you're on a weekend, if you're a millionaire in New York City, and you want to send money to Paris, especially these amounts, without having your bank account frozen or paying absurd amounts of fees, the best option besides Ripple would probably be to buy a private jet and immediately within a few hours, especially a very fast private jet, so actually probably 10 hours you'd be in Paris and you'd be able to hand off that money for the apartment that you're buying. XRP allows you to do that from the comfort of your own home, especially now during a pandemic. So a lot of millionaires are very attracted to that. And today's uh, update was actually a US-based company, Ripple, doo -doo -doo -doo, has settlements coming to Japanese ATMs. So Ripple's already quite popular in Japan, but the popularity will rise. Now, one concern with Ripple, apart from Ripple suing YouTube for its alleged complicity of allowing XRP giveaway scams and that affecting Bitcoin then, was Ripple's co-founder dumping 54 million XRP tokens. So it was a major sell-off. Mr. Jed McCaleb sold more than 54 million in April, 
and still has billions left to sell. So he is a billionaire because he also has stellar lumens and other ones. According to a May 2nd report by the Crypto Associate, Mr. McCaleb's known addresses have sold approximately 54,250,405 Ripple estimated value of $11.7 million at the time. So McCaleb is a key figure in cryptocurrencies history. He, he created the Mt. Gox Exchange and co-founded Stellar. He also co-founded OpenCoin in 2012, which later became Ripple and was allocated 9.5 billion XRP when the 100 billion supply was pre-mined. So uh, the issue is people don't want something that's not fully decentralized in crypto. However, this is a great platform to work with banks, to work with institutional investors and make cryptocurrency more stable. And people might look to this, hey, it's not stable that a co-founder is selling billions of dollars worth of your coin. Oh, he's not selling it in one go because that would crash the price of crypto and that would seriously ruin it for everybody. So he signed a contract for the next seven years. He's only allowed to sell a certain amount per month. That makes a lot more sense. And over time, as he sells more, Ripple should become more stable. And all the other individuals who are whales, you don't want any entity to have too much control over Bitcoin or Ripple or Ethereum. And that's why you don't have that many whales. So I don't think it's truly that big of an issue as some make it out to be. But that is today's video about Ripple. Okay, that's that. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share. We shall see you guys tomorrow. And today we did a live stream, which we released. So also link will be in the description below for that. Peace.